Good evening. It's Wednesday the 10th of June. I'm Dowd Army. This is the All Right News on the All Right TV. You know what I'm saying? Firstly, our daily coronavirus update. Because the current one on the BBC is a load of bollocks. You know what I mean. Now, the UK coronavirus death toll has risen by nearly 200 today. We are now looking at a 50,000 death toll so far in all settings. We are second in the world for deaths to COVID-19. USA is first with 110,000 deaths. Brazil is at 40,000 with 1,300 in the last 24 hours. The four countries with the worst approval rating on how the government has handled COVID-19 are America, Mexico, Brazil and the UK. That takes every country of the world into account. You know what I mean? Now, in India, cases are beginning to rise rapidly. Doctors in Delhi alone say they will need up to 80,000 beds specifically for COVID-19 patients over the next two to three weeks. You know what I mean. In France, an investigation has been opened into how the government and local officials handled the COVID-19 pandemic after scores of complaints by labour unions and individuals with possible charges ranging from involuntary homicide, endangering the lives of others, to willingly abstaining from fighting a threat. You know what I mean? So if they can do it, we can do it. But according to French law, the president has immunity from any type of accountability. So that means Boris will get away with it again, innit? The fuck do. Now, every day at five-ish, we get the daily coronavirus briefing on BBC One by the government. We used to get a show called Pointless on BBC One about that time. Now we get a daily coronavirus briefing that is now basically pointless. Wankers. Now for the rest of today's news. Insurance companies warn campers, if your tent is stolen during the night, you won't be covered. Prince Andrew observes social distancing by staying several thousand miles away from America at all fucking times. And Mel Gibson is seen shopping at Asta. And in a survey, the people of the world wish they could turn certain things back by 85 years. Now, strict new 14-day quarantine rules come into play at all UK airports as Pretty Patel prepares for huge surge in tourists, tourists flocking to the country with the highest death toll in fucking Europe. The thick cow, as if for tourists going to want to come here. You know what I mean? They're not for those. We're the for those. Children and parents react as the government drops plans for schools to reopen before the end of term. And as Peter Andre is found holed up in Dubai, people say it makes a change from being holed up in Jordan. Now, Chris Eubank has written and published a book about ethics. If it's a success, he said he would also write one about Kent. And finally, there is uproar across the nation as racist statues are removed from public display. Right then, now you're probably wondering why I'm dressed as I am today. Well, my hometown is Coventry City. It's where I was born, it's where I grew up. You know what I mean? And they have been promoted to the championship as Division 1 champions. So I'm dressed like this, basically, because the last time they won for all, people dressed like this. You know what I mean? Now, not really. Dave Bennett, mate. You know what I'm saying? Dave Bennett flying down the wing. Killed it! Now, the cover legend from the L87 FA Cup final. Dave Bennett. Now, Cov have won the league. Killed it, Cov! <laughs> so, P-U-S-B. Big up Coventry City. Champions of Division 1. 2020. Big up to the Stevie B's and the Reggie's and the Balheers and the Galves and the Hubbers and all the Cov fans. You know what I mean? Killed it! Now, let's go for our quote of the day. Quote of the day. If the USA saw what the USA does to the USA, the USA would have invaded the USA to free the USA from the fucking USA. You know what I mean? Now, with all the talk about racism and Black Lives Matter, 
I think my son might be racist. I texted him three times last night to come down and he replied, K, K, K. Not a mate. Right then, so have a good week. I'll see you Friday. I'm Dal Dami. I'm Dave Bennett. This is Yeah Right News on Yeah Right TV.